WhatsApp is the biggest messaging app in the entire world with over 2 billion monthly active users. And I wanna show you exactly how to use WhatsApp in this video. Now, if you're brand new to WhatsApp, I'm gonna show you the whole setup process, or if you've been using it for a while, you should still get a lot of value out of this video. I'll show you the most useful options inside of WhatsApp. So WhatsApp is a messaging app. So you could send text messages, you could send photos, videos, you could have group chats, you could have voice and video calls too. But WhatsApp is completely free to use and it only requires internet connection to use it. You can use your phone data plan too if you don't have internet connection. But here are a couple of the key benefits before we dive into it. One is it works really seamlessly across platforms. So if you're on iPhone or your Android or on a computer, it has the same user experience where iPhone to Android users don't have the same experience when they talk to each other. And WhatsApp also really prioritizes privacy, so it's end-to-end -end encryption, so the message stays between you and the person you're communicating with. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get started with the mobile app. So, if you're using an iPhone, you could get this from the App Store, or if you're using Android, which most people use WhatsApp on Android, you could use the Google Play Store search for WhatsApp and then download it to your phone. You're gonna land on the welcome page, I agree, and then here, choose your country here and type in a phone number. Now, WhatsApp, for security reasons, is gonna require a phone number here to create an account. So it does require a valid number because it's gonna send you a text message to verify your account. But you can use Wi-Fi for everything. Video calls, voice calls, text messages, they're all gonna use Wi-Fi. If you don't have Wi-Fi, it will use your data plan if you allow it to. But do type in a phone number to get to the next step here. Then it's gonna send you the six digit code, so type that for activation. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set up a six digit pin and press done. Now you could go ahead and set up your profile here, so your name is gonna go over here and you could tap over here to add a profile picture. Then it's gonna ask you to pull contacts from your phone, so you could actually allow this so you could see who has WhatsApp already. Now here, if you look on the bottom, we have updates, calls, communities, chats, and settings, and sometimes they do move these around but I'm gonna walk you through the most important parts of this and then at the end, I'll show you some settings too you might wanna change for better privacy and security for your account as well. But right now, we wanna to go to the chat window. This is the best place to get started. If you press the plus sign right on top, this is where you could actually add people to chat with. So if you wanna send someone a text message or video call, you need to go ahead and add them here. And if you give access here to your phone contacts, Everyone that has a WhatsApp is gonna show up over here. I'm using a brand new phone here, so I don't have anyone that's showing up from my contact list, but they will show up over here. And then you will also be able to share an invite link to people that don't have WhatsApp. So if you don't see them here, they most likely don't have WhatsApp, or you could just go ahead and create a new contact. Press new contact, so type in their name and phone number and press save and it's gonna add that new contact and then you could start messaging them. If you add someone that doesn't have a WhatsApp, it's just gonna say invite to WhatsApp. So that's gonna send them an invite message here. And then it will send them this text message on your regular text message app for them to install WhatsApp so then you could talk to them on WhatsApp. If you wanted to create a group chat, you could also do that from here, press new and that'll create a group chat where you could add multiple different people, again, from your contact list here. And then we'll also touch up on the community broadcast and some AI options too as we go through. Now I jumped into my regular WhatsApp account to show you exactly where to get started here. So under the chat page, all your previous chats will appear over here so you could go back inside of any one of them to continue talking to that person or to that group. In this case, I'm gonna press the plus sign and start a new one. Remember, make sure you add a new contact here or choose, you could see all my contacts here now from my actual phone will appear over here so I could choose them from my list. Now I jumped into a chat here so I could show you all the different options you have inside of the chat. This is gonna be the same for one-on-one -on -one chats as well as group conversations. So the very first thing you could do is you could just type in a message and this is a regular text. So you could just press send. Again, it's gonna use Wi-Fi to send it. If you don't have Wi-Fi, it's gonna use your phone's data plan, and that is all it takes to send a message. Now, if I press the plus sign, I have all these different options. So the camera option here is gonna access my camera, so if I wanted to take a picture of something, this lets me take a picture of it, and then I could send that picture. Or if I wanna send a video, I could go to the video tab and press to record a video here, press pause, and then it's gonna let me go ahead and do all kinds of different things like adding captions and all kinds of fancy stuff with cropping and adding text, or I could just go ahead and press send like this and it's gonna go ahead and send the video like this instead. Then you also have photos and video library. This is everything on your phone that you could choose. 
You could also attach documents on your phone, share your locations, share a different contact, or create a poll here, again, for a group or an individual conversation. Then you have this little sticker option. If you click this, you could get stickers here that you could add inside of your message. As soon as you tap them, they will appear. Most of the time, you won't have any of them installed, so it may ask you to install them. And you have GIFs here that you could go ahead and add like this. Again, GIFs have the same video options as well, so you could go ahead and add text and all kinds of different things from the top menu, add a caption, and then send them like this, and it's gonna send them inside of that message. Now, one thing I'll show you with messages is really nice. You could press and hold on a message here, and you have a bunch of options as well. You could reply to that specific message. Let's say I wanna reply just to this one or the one they send me. I could do that, I could forward it, copy it, and I could also delete it here. So if I press delete, it's gonna let me delete that selected message. And I could delete it for everyone, which is kind of taking it back. As long as they haven't seen it, I could go ahead and delete for everyone. And basically, as long as they didn't see that message and they have the latest version of WhatsApp, it's gonna take the message back. And then you have the camera option here. Let me click this. So this is the same thing that I just showed you with the plus sign. You could take a photo or you could take a video and you could send it from here. Then there's the voice memo. So if I press and hold here, everything I'm saying is getting recorded in audio format. And if I let go, it's gonna send it just like that. So be careful with this one. This, As long as you press and hold, it will send that audio. Again, you could go ahead and delete it if you make a mistake over here quickly for everyone. Okay, so these are all the messaging options, but most people use WhatsApp to make voice calls and video calls as well, again, for free. So if you click this, let me click it, it's gonna initiate a voice call here. So this is just a regular voice conversation. And you can see it says end-to-end -end encrypted. And if you click this video icon, it's gonna go ahead and initiate a video conversation. You could flip your camera here. You could turn your camera off if you want, and you could also turn off your microphone. I'm gonna end the call. Now let's go back to the home menu. I'm gonna press the back option over here. And as you can see, it's gonna save all your messages. So you could jump back and talk to that same person over here now that a chat has been initiated. But I wanna show you some of these other options. Let's go to the call icon. Here, you're gonna have the same options if you press this phone icon. So if I press it, it's gonna give me everyone on my phone here that is also on WhatsApp and I could initiate a video or phone call. Typically, I don't do that from here. I do everything from the chat menu, but you could also create group calls from here and you could add new contacts from here too. Then in the communities tab here, you could create communities here. So if you wanna see more about how that works, they do have a bunch of examples of what communities are. And then you have your updates tab. So here you could leave a status update. So if you press the plus sign, you could go ahead and leave a photo or a text status. And then I could go ahead and press send on the status and it's gonna change my status update over here. So if people click on my profile, they'll see my status over here. It says at work and he added it to my profile picture like that. You also have these things called channels. Now channels are similar to communities, but I'll just click on this WhatsApp channel. As you can see, this one has 81 million followers. So these channels, you could also create your own as well. So if you press the plus sign, you could find channels. There's a ton of them here, depending on what you like. Imagine these as like Facebook groups. You could go ahead and add here to WhatsApp and you could also create your own channel. Again, there's communities and channels that are for a very large group of people about a specific topic, and you'll also find any channel you follow over here. These two, I think, by default get added. So Zuckerberg, the reason why this shows up is because WhatsApp is owned by Facebook. They also own Instagram. That's under the Meta company umbrella. So these are all owned by the same company. And then you also have this privacy option. So if you don't want your status to be shown to everyone, you could just share it with yourself, with all your contacts, or you could exclude people as well. And finally, as I mentioned, under the settings, there are things that are worth looking at. So here, what you could do is you could go ahead and link different devices. So I have my Mac, for example, let's say I want a message on my computer. I could go ahead and add that as well, link the device here. But privacy is worth a look because you have a bunch of different options. So you could decide who sees your profile picture, your status here, your blocked contacts are gonna show up here, any of your calls, if you wanna silence unknown calls. So a lot of settings here that are worth exploring. My favorite option is turning off red receipts. So if you don't want people to know that you read their message, go ahead and change that over here. And when it comes to storage and data, you could go ahead and decide if any of this media needs to be downloaded using your cell data. So you could change all this to Wi-Fi, so nothing will work or use your data plan in any way and it will all be connected to your Wi-Fi here. 
That's this option over here. And they have this fun options with avatars where you could go ahead and create your own avatars too. Now, next I recommend watching the top tips and tricks videos or watching the WhatsApp AI video to take advantage of the AI tools inside of WhatsApp if you wanna take this to the next level, but that should give you the big fundamental picture of what WhatsApp is and exactly how to use it. I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you on the very next video.